Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, the one and only Dumebilia. If this is your first time coming to my channel, you're welcome. My name is Dumebilia and I live in Nigeria. I'm a makeup artist and I also do hair videos, lifestyle, chit chat, all that good stuff. So if you're already an old subscriber, oldie but goodie, you know that you guys know I love you. Woo. Okay, so today's video is gonna be me taking down my old crochet box braids that I did myself. If you guys want to know how I did it, click on that link up there. So I'm going to be taking them down. I've had them for like over six weeks now. It's almost two months that I've had this um, braid on and one thing I liked about it was that it permitted me to be so lazy with my hair. I wasn't doing anything. I know that's kind of bad because even when you have protective hairstyle in, you're supposed to moisturize your hair, you're supposed to put your, you know, water, your oils and everything. But I didn't do any of that because I'm lazy like that. Anyways, I'll be taking this down and I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my wash day. I already have a wash day video that's it on there check it out but this one is kind of like an updated easier faster more friendly more lazy girl friendly because i'm lazy <laughs> i keep saying that because when it comes to hair i'm kind of lazy so um, um, it's kind of like a faster updated version of my deep conditioning stroke wash day so if you guys want to know how i do it keep watching guys <laughs> beauty about this crochet is that it's reusable and you guys can see that it's still so neat which is one of the reasons that I you know didn't I didn't take them down probably earlier because oh god I'm going to miss them I really enjoyed having these braids but now they have got to go Guys, I'm done the, um, finger detangling my hair and also combing it with my white tooth comb. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be washing my hair right now and I'm going to also condition my hair. So I'm going to be using warm water. I already boiled my water in my kettle. So now I'm going to be using this shampoo. This is PMV Organic Hair Shampoo. It's just it's from a random brand. I saw, I met them at a fair and I decided to give her product a try. I believe it's homemade shampoo. So this is like for specifically for natural hair as you can see here and it's a liquid black soap so I'm going to be using this and I tend to wash my hair two or three times because my hair is really really dirty after washing my hair with the shampoo the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this conditioner this is the Tresem conditioner and I, if you guys remember or if you watched my last video where I went to a hair salon I'll just link it up here that was where I got introduced to this conditioner and it was so awesome I had to get one for myself so I'm going to be using this to condition my hair after which I'm going to come right back here to show you guys how I do my deep conditioning so guys I'll be right back guys I'm done washing my hair I'm just going to be showing you guys how I mix my deep conditioner so guys right now I'm just going to be mixing all these ingredients to make my own homemade DIY um, deep conditioner for my hair 
so these are the things that i'm going to be using it's similar to what i used in my last video where i did my natural hair wash day so i'm going to be using some eggs i'm using two eggs right here then this is my shea butter and you guys can see it's in like solid form i'm going to just melt that right in then this is my jamaican black castor oil this is my mayonnaise so i'm using this in place of hair mayonnaise because it's going to work the same and this is my coconut oil so i'll just be mixing all of this in here and then applying it to my hair and allowing it to steam for 30 minutes I didn't clean my hair with a towel I just use this cotton t-shirt it's safer for your hair to avoid breakage you know either use a microfiber towel or you just use an old cotton t-shirt to drain out some of the water but you don't really remove all the water from your hair so you guys can see my hair is really bouncy and it's extremely soft and I'm liking how my hair is looking right now you guys can see the shine and it's clean and all that good stuff so I'm going to be applying my deep conditioner mix that I made here I'm going to be applying it on my hair but what I'm going to be doing which is different from what I did in my last natural hair wash day is that I'm going to be like, dividing my hair into sections and twisting them before I apply this that's what I'm going to be doing differently so this is actually easier and less tedious than the other method that I showed you guys so when I do that I'm going to be covering my hair using this um, cap and then I'll be steaming my hair for 30 minutes. So let me just get right into that now, guys. Like this is one of the things I don't really like about my natural hair wash day. It's so messy. So it's 30 minutes that I've been under this steaming cap and it's time for me to go and wash everything off. So I'm going to be washing it off but I'm not going to be unraveling the twist. I'll still leave it twisted but I'll just wash off the deep conditioner. I will have the twist overnight then tomorrow I'll style my hair so that it will be like a twist out. And I'll see you guys then. 
hey guys so I'm back this is the next morning I just did my makeup and now I'm, I, I want to style my hair and yeah I have a tutorial on this makeup look that's it up there please click it to watch so now you could um, just wet your fingers with some oil and then it will help you separate your twist better and avoid freeze then after separating after unraveling my twist I'm separating the hair a little bit more to make it fluffier and I'm going to be styling my hair but before that I'm going to use the LOC method in my spray bottle there I have water deep conditioner and some oils like um, of course my coconut oil and my um, black castor oil so I sprayed that to make the hair a little bit damp then the next thing that I applied is the oil and it's from the same brand that made my hair shampoo that I used to wash my hair earlier it is the PVM organic hair oil it has black seed oil and a herbal mix that is what is stated here it helps it suits the scalp and it scoops <laughs> it suits the scalp condition that cause inflammation flakiness and sensitivity and encourages growth of the hair This is my first time using it so after that i used the yeah, cream from the same brand pvm organic pink butter it's a herbal mix and it protects your hair from dryness breakage and a great moisturizer and i can tell you guys that this thing smelled so good and it made my hair really really soft of course my hair was already soft you know given everything that i did to it the day before so i just used my comb my white tooth comb to like tease it a bit and now i'm just gonna be styling this is something really really simple i didn't want to do regular updo so this is just something that you just need bobby bobby pins and you're not going to be ma manipulating your hair too much it's important that you deep condition your hair after every protective hairstyle that's what i do like whenever i have a protective hairstyle i usually wear my hairstyles for minimum three weeks you know then i wear them for as much as five six weeks like i did for this particular hairstyle and crochet braids that i just took down so every time i take down a protective hairstyle i do this because my hair is usually dry because i really don't do a lot of maintenance of my natural hair when my hair is in a protective hairstyle so I always do my deep conditioning every time I take down a protective hairstyle so this is it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys found it helpful be sure to subscribe like share please drop me comments and I'll see you guys in my next video bye